Halloween is the time for kids in costumes on late night adventures. It takes me back to trick-or-treating in the village where I grew up, Weipe, Idaho. Most homes we visited were decked out with jack-o'-lanterns and other pseudo-scary arrangements. This is the perfect day for describing the 2024 State of the Climate Report, which was published earlier this month in the peer-reviewed Bioscience. Released on October 8, 2024, this year's State of the Climate Report was authored by 13 scholars and Michael Mann. This year's report is titled, The 2024 State of the Climate Report, Perilous Times on Planet Earth. Here's the lead, quote, We are on the brink of an irreversible climate disaster, end quote. Apparently, none of the 14 authors of this year's report are aware that even the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change concluded Earth is amid abrupt and irreversible climate disaster. The IPCC reached this conclusion with two reports published more than five years ago. Specifically, the IPCC's October 8, 2018 report, Global Warming of 1.5 Degrees, concluded that, quote, even abrupt geophysical events do not approach current rates of human-driven change, end quote. The IPCC Special Report on the Ocean and Cryosphere in a Changing Climate, published on September 24, 2019, attributed the irreversibility of climate change to an overheated ocean. Many scholars have pointed out that many self-reinforcing feedback loops have already been triggered, any one of which ensures the irreversibility of climate change. The 2024 State of the Climate Report continues, citing considerable peer-reviewed evidence. Quote, this is a global emergency beyond any doubt. Much of the very fabric of life on Earth is imperiled. We are stepping into a critical and unpredictable new phase of the climate crisis. For many years, scientists, including a group of more than 15,000, have sounded the alarm about the impending dangers of climate change driven by increasing greenhouse gas emissions and ecosystem change. For half a century, global warming has been correctly predicted even before it was observed and not only by independent academic scientists, but also by fossil fuel companies. Despite these warnings, we are still moving in the wrong direction. Fossil fuel emissions have increased to an all-time high, the three hottest days ever recorded in July of 2024. And current policies have us on track for approximately 2.7 degrees Celsius peak warming by 2100. Tragically, we are failing to avoid serious impacts, and we can now only hope to limit the extent of the damage. We are witnessing the grim reality of the forecasts as climate impacts escalate, bringing forth scenes of unprecedented disasters around the world and human and non-human suffering. We find ourselves amid an abrupt climate upheaval, a dire situation never before encountered in the annals of human existence. We have now brought the planet into climatic conditions never witnessed by us or our prehistoric relatives within our genus, Homo. Last year, we witnessed record-breaking sea surface temperatures, the hottest northern hemisphere extratropical summer in 2,000 years, and the breaking of many other climate records. Moreover, we will see much more extreme weather in the coming years. Human-caused carbon dioxide emissions and other greenhouse gases are the primary drivers of climate change. As of 2022, global fossil fuel combustion and industrial processes account for approximately 90% of these emissions whereas land use change, primarily deforestation, accounts for approximately 10%. Our aim in the present article is to communicate directly to researchers, policy makers, and the public. As scientists and academics, we feel it is our moral duty and that of our institutions to alert humanity to the growing threats that we face as clearly as possible and to show leadership in addressing them. In this report, we analyze the latest trends in a wide array of planetary vital signs. We also review notable recent climate-related disasters, spotlight important climate-related topics, and discuss needed policy interventions. This report is part of our series of concise annual updates on the state of the climate. End quote. Whereas I agree that, quote, it is our moral duty and that of our institutions to alert humanity to the growing threats that we face as clearly as possible and to show leadership in addressing them, end quote, others apparently do not agree. When I tried to, quote, alert humanity to the growing threats that we face as clearly as possible and to show leadership in addressing them, end quote, my life was destroyed in response. As pointed out by American science fiction writer Robert Heinlein, quote, being right too soon is socially unacceptable, end quote. 
Apparently, I reached my conclusions about abrupt irreversible climate change too soon. I was ahead of the IPCC. I'm still ahead of the folks who wrote the 2024 State of the Climate Report. The 2024 State of the Climate Report includes seven key findings, which I will describe briefly. First, 2023 was characterized by global and sea surface temperatures significantly ex exceeding the 1991 to 2024 averages. A figure on page three of the report clearly supports these two sentences in the annual report. First, quote, daily mean temperatures were at record levels for nearly half of 2023 and much of 2024, end quote. Second, quote, on our current emissions trajectory, we may regularly surpass current temperature records in future years, end quote. Considering the IPCC conclusions that Earth is amid the most abrupt event in planetary history, and also that climate change is irreversible, I would be stunned if we did not, quote, regularly surpass current temperature records in future years, end quote. In 2023, global energy-related emissions rose by 2.1%, reaching more than 40 gig gigatons of carbon dioxide equivalent for the first time. This increase is primarily driven by fossil fuel combustion. In addition, aerosols, which have a cooling effect on the atmosphere, are in decline, potentially accelerating warming. The authors invoke hope as a response. Quote, Tragically, we are failing to avoid serious impacts, and we can now only hope to limit the extent of the damage, end quote. Allow me once again to point out that hope is defined by the Merriam-Webster Online Dictionary as, quote, to cherish a desire with anticipation, to want something to happen or be true, end quote. Personally, I want a lot of things to, quote, happen or be true, end quote. So far, wishing hasn't accomplished any of these tasks. The third key finding in this year's State of the Climate Report deals with extreme weather events increasing in frequency. These included the record-breaking heat wave that swept across North Africa and the Sahel, widespread flooding, flooding in East Africa, and severe wildfires in Chile that destroyed more than 14,000 homes. This year's report links these events directly to climate change. The fourth key finding addresses worsening ocean conditions. Ocean heat content and acidity are record levels which have led to mass mortality events among marine species, including coral reefs. In a related finding, ice masses on Greenland and Antarctica reached record lows, contributing to a rise in average global sea levels. The report at attributes these changes to both global warming and a strong El Nino event in 2023 and early 2024, it highlighted the long-term risks posed by melting ice and rising sea level that could displace hundreds of millions of people, assuming we don't lose habitat for human animals before then. The fifth major finding of this year's report addresses human suffering. For example, heat-related deaths increased by 117% from 1999 to 2003 in the United States. We generally think of the U.S. as among the last places to be affected by global warming events, yet the report states, quote, heat waves of this magnitude likely could not have occurred in the absence of climate change, end quote. The report indicates each additional 0.1 degree C of global warming places an estimated 100 million people at increased risk of health and livelihood challenges. The sixth major, major finding refers to deforestation. The rate of global deforestation is accelerating, with tree cover loss increasing by more than 24% from 2022 to 2023. This profound increase was largely driven by record-breaking wildfires, which caused an unprecedented loss of 11.9 million hectares of forest cover. Such deforestation contributes to self-reinforcing feedback loops, in which the loss of forest carbon sequestration leads to additional warming, driving further losses in forest cover. The seventh and final major finding in the report addresses self-reinforcing feedback loops. The report claims that at least 28 self-reinforcing feedback loops have been triggered. It, it claims that, once initiated, these loops, quote, may accelerate further warming in a self-perpetuating cycle, end quote. By may, the authors clearly mean will, because the definition of self-reinforcing feedback loops ensures as much. In addition, the report correctly points out that, quote, because these feedback loops are not yet fully integrated into climate models, 
current emissions reduction plans might fall short in adequately limiting future warming, end quote. The 2024 State of the Climate Report closes with a stunningly ignorant paragraph that cites additional peer-reviewed research. Quote, Five of 16 climate tipping elements are likely to cross their tipping points at 1.5 degrees C. The Greenland Ice Sheet, the West Antarctic Ice Sheet, Boreal Permafrost, Low Latitude Coral Reefs, and the Barents Sea Ice. Several climate tipping points are connected, and if one tips, others may tip, triggering a tipping point cascade. Overall, this points to a complex situation where climate controlling feedback loops and tipping point systems are interconnected in a way that could trigger self-perpetuating processes that amplify warming beyond human control. Therefore, we recommend the IPCC publish a special report on feedback loops and tipping points." End quote. Where do I begin? Governments of the world have concluded that Earth passed the 2C Rubicon. We have already amplified, quote, warming beyond human control, end quote, as indicated by dozens of self-reinforcing feedback loops, any one of which ensures the irreversibility of climate change. As usual, this year's report includes a recommendation for somebody else, in this case the IPCC, to, quote, publish a special report on feedback loops and tipping points, end quote. Here's an idea. Why don't we admit, admit that Earth is amid abrupt irreversible climate change? Why don't we stop looking for additional evidence that points out the obvious? Is this yet another case of science being the elucidation of the obvious? If so, then today is more terrifying than I thought it would be. Happy Halloween!